Greetings, friends. Check out this sweet 8 transistor GE, the 8 mate portable radio. I want to show you how to sh see the date code on this, which is pretty neat. Right down here, the 1 is for Monday, 6 is for 1966, the 40th week, October 3rd, 1966. This is the P1730B, stands for portable. And I believe that this can right here, this metal can is probably a germanium transistor. There are other transistors in here as well. And including some of these round varieties here. It's 59 through 67. GE used this reed design on the speaker, which is a design that dates from the 1920s. So a hundred year old speaker design. See the metal reed right there? that connects to this, what looks like an inductor or transformer kind of coil in here. There's a transformer here. I believe this coil here and the redesign eliminates the need for an output transformer. I was really troubleshooting this redesign after looking through all the circuit and applying different values of capacitors, of course, to the electrolytics. That wasn't doing anything. And then I substituted NPN transistors in each transistor, including trying a PNP um, on a couple of these that might be near the audio stage because I think it's a push-pull design. But either way, I pretty much diagnosed that these are NPN transistors because by applying a PNP, um, across the leads of any of the transistors, it just nulled out the circuit completely. So I'm pretty sure it's an NPN uh, design primarily, but that really, that did nothing to improve the reception. So after really checking out the design there of the read of the read speaker and reading about how there's a magnet right back here, let me get my pencil back there, right there guys is a magnet but I've read that, you know, over the course of 50 years, 56 years, that that magnet may lose its juice. Check out what happens when I put a shower magnet of a shower curtain in here attached to that coil and then interface that with the paper up top. Look at this. It's like a magnet bridge here. Wow. Man, that's booming. Okay, now watch this. Now, okay, so that's a jerry rig hack of how we can fix, quote unquote, this reed speaker design that doesn't seem to be vibrating properly um, with that coil. And I think it's because of the defunct magnet in back, because look at how that perked up with a couple shower mag, shower curtain magnets, friends. But let's even take this up a notch and put in a proper, uh, speaker here without the reed design. I'm just going to hook that up to the negative post there on the battery. And let's turn this on. And I'm going to plug this now into this external speaker into the headphone jack in this guy and listen to this blast off man is that beautiful or what let's get off the music channel though for copyright purposes once again friends this is the GE 8 mate 8 transistor radio made in the USA but yeah this thing's really humming I'm gonna have to consider in the future what to do as far as you know mounting this in there I could replace that speaker maybe but you know it's kind of cool for historical purposes to keep that reed speaker I'm just not sure about repairing it maybe you guys could post in the comments if you know about this stuff and thanks for tuning in